Hey guys, what's up? It's Melkazunki. So the Q&A answers video is finally here. I just gotta warn you guys, this is a really freaking long video and there's not gonna be anything interesting in the background. So I just recommend to play this in the background while you're playing RS or something probably more interesting than watching a static background. And uh, I didn't answer all of your questions, but I probably answered about a third of them or so, or half of them. There were too many questions to answer, so just thank you for leaving your questions, everyone. And uh, hopefully we'll do one of these again eventually, because I thought this was really fun, and maybe you'll be able to learn a bit about me. But let's get on into the questions now. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and uh, see you then. What is the funnest and worst experience you've had playing this game? Have you ever played a RuneScape private server? Also, did you enjoy the game more when you were going for maxed or after you maxed? The funnest experience I've ever had was probably free-to-play Clan Wars when it first came out in like 2008. I believe it was just a blast. I remember that with such fond memories. Uh, worst experience was probably some huge merching mistakes I've made and lost a lot of money, but I have more questions about that later. Have I ever played a RuneScape private server? Yeah, I played a RuneScape private server called Rune Legacy. Put a ton of hours into that um, private server. It was reset several times. It came back to it several times. Haven't played it in a long time, though, but I did have a blast on there. And I gotta say, I probably had more fun before I was maxed, although I still do have days um, now and then when I just have an absolute blast on RuneScape, mostly when PVMing. But yeah, I definitely had more fun when I was grinding for that max cape and had a huge amount of motivation to play. Am I depressed or not happy? Um, yeah, it is a personal question, that's true, but I don't really mind answering it. And I can answer it pretty truthfully and say, you know, for the most part, I am a pretty happy person. I don't really have the most happy personality, but I feel great right now, and I do as well for the most part. It really helps when you, um, like, for example, eat better and get good exercise. It helps your mood a lot, and I've been trying to do that more lately. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a fairly happy person, I would say, although I've had struggles with that in the past. I might not always seem happy during the videos that I make, and that's because I don't always try to be, you know, goofy and joke around during the videos a whole lot, because I try to act professional, but that's not sadness. Do I play RuneScape? Uh, yeah, pretty much. What was my first 99, and any tips for someone trying to get their first 99? My first 99 was Attack, personally, and I got it through Slayer. And any tips for someone who's trying to get their first 99, I would just say go for whatever you enjoyed most. For me personally, I loved slaying, so I just slayed and I attacked stuff, and eventually I got my attack to 99. It took a while because I was doing it with like a whip most of the time, but yeah, I, I got there eventually and I had a lot of fun doing it. What do I think the target demographic age for advertising should be? I would say probably around 16 to 21 would be the main age of people that play RS. There don't seem to be a lot of younger people anymore. Like when RS first started, we were all 13 year olds playing the game, but we've all grown up with it now and are probably all in that late teens, early 20 age by this point. What do I think really defines the RuneScape experience? Um, I personally would have to say that feeling you get when you get your first 99. Um, that probably defines the RuneScape experience better than anything else because that first 99 is such a feeling of accomplishment and relief at the same time and just knowing that you really worked hard to get something and then it kind of all goes downhill from there but I mean you do have that feeling of accomplishment with everything you achieve in the game but that first 99 is really what embodies it the most and that's probably the main reason why play people play RS is for accomplishing stuff. Do my parents know what I do and do they support you? Um, you know they weren't very supportive at first but I think they have uh, begin to warm up to the whole YouTube thing a little bit over time as they've seen my uh, subscriber base has grown and you know just the overall success of what I d have done has grown a little bit um, so over time they become a little bit more and more supportive and yeah I do have a girlfriend and she knows about YouTube and she watches the videos occasionally so I guess that's kind of cool. Have I ever seen one of my subscribers in real life? Uh, yeah I've seen a couple of them when I went to Jagex. Um, a couple of the Jade mods watched my video and I believe um, a couple of the other YouTubers watched my video. I wasn't really well known or anything, but a couple people knew who I am and had seen some of the guides before. So whether they subscribed or not, I actually don't know, but um, there were some people who kind of recognized me and knew who I was, so I guess that kind of counts. Was there a deciding video that made my channel blow up? Um, I don't really think there was a deciding video but definitely the video that started that off on the process was the uh, original crafting guide that I made because it has the second most video views of any video on my channel and it was the first guide that I think I put a lot of time into it's not very good by my standards now because I didn't know a whole lot about you know 
technology and how to make videos look very nice back then but that was the first um, video that I had that had a ton of success um, really before that my videos didn't even break breach the 1000 view mark and I think that video has like 150,000 now or something um, so yeah that was the first one and the guides you know continued from there and a lot of them had had have had a lot of success since then biggest runescape youtubers that inspired me to start making videos um, the guy that actually inspired me to start making videos originally on runescape was someone called Andrew AJ 62 um, he was the first ever runescape viewer I saw and I was in his friends chat for pretty much the first year when I came back to RS I came back in 2011 very very early 2011 um, so yeah, I was in his friends chat a lot and watched some of his videos. Not a lot. I never really got all that into YouTube until um, yeah, it started really getting into making videos myself. Other than that, Rune Shark. I watched a lot of Rune Shark, but they didn't start making videos um, when I came back to RS quite yet. Although they came not too long after that. But once they started up making videos, I was a huge fan of theirs as well. Out of all my slur tasks, what's the most hated? Well, that's a good one. I would have to say Aberrant Specters, just because I'm never doing that task again, and I get it all the time. So I have to waste a whole bunch of points canceling it. But there's uh, some other really bad ones like Warp Tortoises, Jungle Strike Worms, just crap XP, and I I skip all of them don't like any of them but I'd have to say Abby Specs. What 200 mil would I have by bowl if GP wasn't an issue? Um, well, in all honesty, if I could have any 200 mil, I'd have fishing, because I hate fishing, and that's a slow, slow skill, so I would never have to do fishing again. Um, but if you mean only buyable 200 mils, I guess crafting, because crafting isn't the fastest unless you train it with, like, gem cutting, and it's ridiculously, crazily, insanely expensive. So yeah, I'd, I'd probably go with crafting personally. Do I have a job? If not, what would you work with? I don't currently have a job. Um, the last job I had, I worked at Quiznos for about nine months. If I could have any job, I would work as a basketball assistant coach or video coordinator. That would be kind of my dream job. Um, and subscriber goal with YouTube, I guess 50,000 would be really, really awesome to hit. That's just the next like really big number I could think of. Maybe 100k subscribers would be amazing to break one day. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. That's just kind of um, me dreaming fantasy land sort of thing. Here's a question I was looking forward to answering. When Jagex first revealed they were going to rework combat, what was your initial response to that? Were you for or against it? Then when we revealed the ability bar and adrenaline and such, did your opinion change? Well, first of all, when I first heard that Jagex was going to rework combat, I honestly didn't really care at all because uh, I wasn't really thinking that much into it. And then when the combat beta came out, I didn't watch any live streams and I didn't try it because I heard it was too laggy. So I didn't even learn about adrenaline and abilities till like two weeks after the combat beta came out. And then I didn't really think much of it until they revealed that it was going to be released in November 2013 or something like that, or 2012. Um, I was really dreading it. I, in all honesty, thought Slayer would be ruined. I did not want to have to use abilities for Slayer. Um, and then when it eventually did come out, I just used momentum for Slayer. And yeah, I really did not like EOC at first. However, that changed when Cal Fight King came out and when I started getting the next, and that's when I really started loving it. I wouldn't go back for the world now. Um, but yeah, when it first came out, I was really against it because I loved Slayer, and uh, I thought it would just kind of make Slayer a pain. And it really is kind of a pain in the hands if you use manual for Slayer all day, so I guess I was partially right. Would I rather play basketball or RuneScape for a job, considering I get paid the same for both? Well, I'm sorry guys, but I'd have to go with basketball in a heartbeat. As much as I love RS, and even if I play basketball for a job, I'd still do RS, and probably would still make YouTube videos because I love doing it. Um, but I would have to go with basketball just because basketball is so much better for you and it makes you feel so much better when you get out and exercise and stuff and it's just an absolute blast. Um, so yeah, I'd have to go with that. Unfortunately, I'm not physically gifted enough for that to be an option for me and RuneScape is a really, really great consolation prize, um, RuneScape and YouTube, but yeah, I'd have to go with basketball because that's like my number one love there. So this one's pretty much just asking what are my goals both in life and RS. Um, pretty much life goals is just nothing too complicated. I want to eventually make enough money just to live on and afford a decently sized house and get married and settle down. Um, nothing really too complicated, pretty basic life goals. I'd be satisfied without um, having anything amazing happen to me. And RS wise, just play until I get tired of the game, which I don't see happening anytime soon. I don't really have any huge um, goals in RS. I mean, 120 Slayer is definitely up there, but other than that, I can't think of anything really major that stands out. So I guess just 120 Slayer and playing to have fun. Would I say my YouTube career has been a success? Um, I personally consider it a humongous success. I never expected to uh, 
even graze the 10,000 subscriber mark, much less what I am to and what I'm growing to now. Um, so in my mind, is a gigantic success. Um, depends on your definitions of success. Other people might not see it that way. Um, but for me personally, I'm very, very thankful and satisfied with what I have now. And I just hope that I can continue doing this for as long as possible. What do I think has been the best update on RS? Um, quick inventory from the bank. Quick inventory and uh, loadouts. Yep, that has got to be it. That just completely changed the landscape of scaling and made it so much easier. Oh, in all honesty, though, either Cal Fight King would probably be my personal favorite update, but those quick inventory, that was amazing. What do I think is truly the hardest thing to do get an RS besides max comp, trim comp? Well, the easy answer here would be 200 mil all skills, but I think he's just asking what's the hardest single thing to do, and 200 mil all skills is more like 26 things to do. Um, so I'd personally probably say getting a druidic through third age drop from an elite clue scroll. That might even be harder than getting 200 mil all skills in all honesty because that's like doing thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of elite clue scrolls and they take a long time and they are not easy to get so that's probably the hardest thing to do in all of rs did i do good in school on the sats and other standardized tests uh no i did not i dropped out of high school after failing many classes and having some personal issues that's not something i really regret at all though and i wouldn't change the path that i've taken and also has rs affected my education not really um because what i do right now um mainly in my life has all been self-taught when it comes to like youtube and video editing and stuff and i think rs has been a huge motivation for that rather than taking away from that what is my opinion on the iron man challenge will you be participating sorry if I, this is asked a lot it is asked a lot but actually a funny story that i want to tell you guys is i actually have participated in the iron man challenge um about three years ago because many of you might not know this but the iron man challenge um started on rs3 it actually started pre-evolution of combat and it was called max cape from scratch um and me and i don't know about five other people were probably the first guys to start it. i did start it like on the release date um there's a guy who made a youtube video asking his subscribers to join him in an iron man challenge we all like started a clan together didn't use the ge we didn't call it the iron man we called it max cape from scratch but it was the same idea um and yeah it started about three years ago it got a little bit big, a little bit of community involvement, died down within probably a year or so, and wasn't heard from again until the Iron Man started up in old school. But yeah, I already have done that. Um, and in all honesty, it's very, very fun at first, but you burn out very, very fast. So you got to have a lot of motivation to do that, and you got to really love it. So I don't know if I would be able to handle a full-scale Iron Man challenge. I'd probably just get burned out and lose motivation really fast. All right, the first question here I've already answered, but have I ever been hacked? Uh, no, I've actually never been hacked. I don't know how I've never been hacked. I have had people, like, log in to my account in the lobby. But luckily, the two times that that's happened, that was after JAG was released, so they didn't get into my account. Also, I have no old school plans. Um, old school is not a growing game. RS3 is a growing game. Uh, yes, it is increasing in players over time, although fairly gradually. Uh, but I think the RS3 has a much bigger audience and a much bigger future potential for RuneScape videos. And also, um, I just don't enjoy old school very much, in all honesty. And it's not very fun to make YouTube videos on a game that you don't like. So I will be sticking with RS3. But of course, there's lots of great old school video makers out there to choose from. If there's anything you could change or add to this game, what would it be? Um, I would make prayers work on the action bar. So when you pressed a button on the action bar to change your prayers, that would work because it often doesn't. I would make the targeting system work, so if you clicked on a monster, your character would in, in fact attack that monster. Um, I would make the ability bar not lock up, because it tends to do that sometimes. Um, overall, I think the interface just has a few bugs that could be worked with that are very annoying during PVM. I'd also make it so graves, uh, if you disconnected, like if you had no internet connection, maybe RS could sense that in some way um, and make your grave not appear until you logged on again. That would be cool because let's just be honest, the only time other people ever lose their stuff is to a DC. People don't lose their stuff due to dying in a boss and not being able to get back unless it's God Wars Dungeon or low level, I guess. But other than that, people only lose their stuff to a DC and it's really annoying and kind of unfair. And this one's asking, has RS ever affected my social life? Well, to be completely honest with you guys, my social life has never been great, but um, even back when I did have a social life, I was not really hanging out with the best people. So RS kind of provided a fun alternative to hanging out with the wrong crowd and getting into bad stuff. 
So I would say that RS has actually improved my social life from being a negative one to not having much of one, which isn't as good as a positive social life, but it's better than what I was at. So I guess, yeah, RS has improved my social life. How about that? Question, do you play sports? Yes. Yeah, I actually, I play basketball and uh, I played baseball and football as in soccer football, not as in American football, a lot as a kid. Uh, never really loved them growing up though. It's weird. I played only baseball and soccer as a kid. I didn't play any other sports. And then when I grew up, I'm into American football and basketball. So kind of odd how that happens, but yeah, those are the sports I'm into. 199s do I recommend getting first? Uh, combat 99s, because combat is going to be the best way to make money when you're first starting out. And uh, what things do you recommend prioritizing first? Well, again, combat. You want to get your combat up as soon as possible so you can start doing bosses and you can make money to afford those viable skills. And I'd say dungeoneering is also really important to get better weapons um, because until you're able to afford those level 90 weapons, you're going to need Drygors to kill stuff to make mo or I mean, you're going to need Chaotix to kill stuff to make money. So combat and dungeoneering are the things that you should prioritize. Ever gotten really bored with RS and decided just to quit for a few months? Yeah, I have actually just um, a year ago. Last November, I didn't play much, and last December, I really didn't play at all. Just went through a phase where I lost interest, and that's happened a couple times before, but I've always come back to the game. Well, I don't ever talk about my real life. Um, there's many reasons for that, but I just don't think my real life is terribly important. What is important is making videos about RS that are fun and interesting to watch. Um, I'd rather not talk about my real life though, but hopefully you can learn at least some about it from watching this video because um, I've tried to be pretty honest with most of the questions. Favorite movie and TV show? I don't really watch movies, but maybe Saving Private Ryan is one of them. It's definitely up there. Favorite TV show? I have a lot. Um, right now I'm watching the TV show Chuck and really getting into that one. I had my first girlfriend at age 13 and she was pretty awesome and then it kind of all went downhill from there and tell my current one because she's pretty cool. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, my favorite YouTuber actually isn't myself. That might surprise some of you. Um, but my favorite YouTuber would probably have to be someone called Straight Outta Boston. He makes a lot of um, series of sports games, mostly like baseball and basketball, and I love watching sports commentary, so I'd have to say he's probably one of the favorites, or if not the favorite right now. And finally, what was your most embarrassing moment in our life? Um, it's kind of an awkward way to phrase that, our life. Um, yeah, I don't know what my most embarrassing moment was. Um, I haven't really had very many moments that were very embarrassing. I mean, I know everyone has to answer this question at least once in their life. So I'd probably have to say uh, running at a store and tripping right as a really hot girl walked by and she said, how old are you? And I said, uh, 15. And she said, wow. And she walked away because I was laying on the ground. Yeah, it kind of sucked. What in this game do you find most enjoyable? What's the fun slash thrill factor? No, thrill slash fun factor that keeps you playing. I'd have to say PVM, mostly Cal Fight King, because that's my favorite boss. There's not much of a thrill factor there because I've done so much of it at this point, but I just love PVM. And I guess there is some thrill in like wondering what drop you're going to get and then going really dry and finally getting that drop. And you're like, yes, oh, it's an offhand mace. Screw this game. Um, so yeah, the rage factor is there too, but yeah, I'd have to say PVM. Have I ever made an RS video without pants on? Um, in real life, no, but I chose this question because I actually made a video once called How to Slay Without Pants On. It's one of the few older videos that I haven't deleted without off of YouTube. So if you want to check me that old, really, really old, terrible quality video out, go ahead. It's just called How to Slay Without Pants On. I don't know what I was thinking that day. What do I enjoy most about RS? Um, it's got to be the progression going up and kind of like tracking your stats and moving up to levels and then when you're already maxed, moving up to ranks and XP and sort of stuff. Um, probably the overall progression and just seeing your account grow. And as I said earlier, of course, PVM as well. So those two things really are the ones I enjoy most about RS. Have I ever DC'd while I was bossy and lost all my stuff? Yeah. Mm. I have. I lost about 10 mil once because I died to Zami, and uh, I think there's a system update, so my grave disappeared. Sucked. But I haven't died at all recently at PVM. I did have a world crash once when I was at Nex. Um, it was in between spawns, though, so I didn't die, but I was risking like 50 mil worth of stuff because I had a full range switch on me as well as a melee switch. Uh, but luckily, I didn't die, although a friend did die 
not a friend of the YouTuber, but a friend of mine that was at Next, and he lost like 10 mil. So that kind of sucked for him. What do I think Jax needs to do to grow the player base? They need to improve free to play and low level play, like introduce some bosses or fun mini games for low levels. Um, they've tried to do that a little bit with like goblin flash mobs and stuff in the past, but I don't think those things were necessarily great. Uh, so they need fun, rewarding things for low levels to do. They need to change free to play so it's not adscape. Uh, if I got offered player mod, would I take it? I guess. It's not really something I think about or want, though. So, I mean, I'd take it, yeah, but I don't re I'm don't. i not really too concerned about it. It doesn't keep me up at night. Um, and how much total GP do I think the average player base holds? Uh, many, many, many trillions. I really have no idea. What is my opinion on the four or five players that have over one trillion bank? It's That's great for them if they want to spend this entire game prioritizing making money. Um, and if that's what they enjoy, all power to them. I'm not really jealous of them or anything. I mean, it's fine that they have that much money. If that's what they enjoy doing, good for them. Ever thought of going into other gaming fields? Do you mean like on YouTube? Because I do have another channel where I upload videos of gaming. And I'd like to expand that one day and uh, really, you know, play a whole ton of games. I'm just kind of new to the non-RS YouTube making stuff. So um, I don't think I'm the best at it yet. But yeah, I do hope to one day maybe even when RS is long gone to be still playing video games um, and hopefully recording videos of them and putting them on YouTube whether YouTube will still be around 20 years from now who knows but if it is I'd love to be doing something like that am I using legacy mode for anything uh, the only time I'll ever use legacy mode is for recording PK commentaries and I do plan on doing more of those in the future I just don't know when um, but yeah, I would not use legacy mode for anything else personally. If you enjoy the interface and you don't mind the slower XP, by all means go for it. But it is quite a bit slower and I personally prefer the RS3 interface because I love the customization and I don't like the old brown interface. I don't think it looks very good. Even though it's nostalgic, um, nostalgia does not have a very strong hold on me. I'll say that. What is the biggest loss of GP you've ever taken on RS because of a really dumb mistake? Um, well, on the seismics is the biggest loss of GP I've ever had, but that wasn't a mistake. I kind of knew they were going to go down. I didn't really care because I haven't cared all that much about money as of late. Um, the biggest loss I've ever taken, like, proportionally to my bank, I tried to merge Torstoles when the Overload update was coming out because everyone tried to merge Torstoles and they crashed and never recovered. I lost about 150 mil on that, and that's when my bank was, like, 450 mil so that really hurt because that was like a third of my bank gone the biggest loss of ever potential GP is because or is when I bought 800,000 living minerals when living minerals were about 30 GP each um, and they rose up to 400 GP so I could have sold all those living minerals for about 3 billion um, but I sold them for about 40 GP each and I made like 10 GP per living mineral because I'm an impatient I've always been impatient when it comes to video games. It's a huge downfall of mine, and I wanted the money for something, even though it wasn't a whole lot of money that I put into Living Minerals. Could have had a uh, like 2.5 bill profit merch, but I sold them due to impatience, so that's the biggest loss of GP I guess I've ever really had. Favorite band or artist? Um, probably right now would be Red. My favorite band or artist of all time is uh, kind of either Linkin Park or U2, I would say. I love both those bands. I grew up listening to U2 have always had a soft spot for them but my favorite song of all time is numb by lincoln park i've heard that song hundreds if not thousands of times never gotten tired of it um so lincoln park probably favorite sa song u2 probably favorite band of all time what is my favorite game beside rs i wouldn't say rs is my favorite game at least not of all time again we're going with the all time here thing and that would be age of empires 2 um have been playing that game for like what 10 12 years at least have absolutely loved it. I still play it on occasion. And my f other favorite game probably right now would be the NBA 2K series. I'm waiting for 2K15 to come out, but once it does, I will be playing that a lot. After reaching 90 in all skills, I decided to take a break. I wanted to come back, but I'm just too burned out. I had that problem once. I got really burned out after getting very close to the 90s cape myself a long time ago. And I took a break for a couple weeks. I also tried to come back, and eventually it just took a three-month break for me to finally came back, come back. Um, so I would say just take a longer break, and if in a couple months from now you still don't want to play RS, you might just want to move on to other games. Don't try to force yourself to play a game that you're not having fun with, though. If I could change the past and never encounter RS, would you? Heck no. I think RS has improved my life drastically. Uh, also, if I wasn't playing RS, well, pretty much before I got really into RS, early 2011, all I did was, like, p 
play basketball in Call of Duty and NBA 2K. So it's not like I was doing productive things before I found RS and RS is keeping me from do the, doing those things. So I think RS has really helped me a lot. Do I watch the NFL? Yeah, I watch the NFL quite a bit. Um, my favorite team would be the Chargers, but I am from Washington State as well, so I root for the Seahawks as well. I was super hyped that they won the Super Bowl. Um, Seahawks, I've always rooted for them because they're the hometown team, yet my favorite team is the Chargers. I can't really explain that, but I do love both of those teams to death. What's my view on power to the players? Do we get too much power or not enough? Um, at, initially, I thought it was a good thing. And then the players picked a troll name in the Bandos quest to be named LOL. And that's kind of when I decided it was a bad thing. And Legacy, I guess it's fine uh, if it does continue to bring players into the game or keep them in the game. Um, if it increases revenue, then it's a good move. And if it doesn't, then it's not. I mean, I guess it's just kind of a Jagex business venture. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me whether it's in the game or not. It doesn't affect my play. Um, if it makes Jagex more money than they spent on it, then yes, it was a good move. What is my favorite skill? Slayer. What YouTuber did I watch as I progressed through the early game? Well, when I first started playing back in 2007, before I quit for a couple years, uh, I didn't watch YouTube. I didn't really learn anything on my own. I got a few tips from my friends at school that got me into the game, but they were kind of noobs and didn't know anything either. So um, yeah, I, I mostly learned about RS just through trial and error, and then I eventually discovered Rune HQ and I used that for a few quests. But other than that, pretty much everything I know about RS was for the most part self-taught or self-learned, I guess. My best ever clue skull reward was Ranger Boots, and I sold them for 14 mil. Why do I make such inaccurate guides? Well, I think the major topic of controversy um, during guides and stuff that I made have been XP rates, mostly during guides that I made combat-based, especially like the Glacors videos are probably the most controversial videos I've ever made when it comes to this. Um, and the main thing I have to say is uh, when it comes to stuff like that, a lot of the time people that have higher XP rates than me are just better at their ability to rotations and better at killing stuff than I am, and therefore they get faster XP rates. Um, or if they get lower XP rates than me, that's because I have better gear or have done it more than they have. Um, and when it comes to at least my guides where are not combat related, um, I get pretty much all my information off like the RS wiki and other fan sites. Um, I don't really make up or test the XP rates on my own because I think it's much more legitimate to have it off of a source that's publicly available that a lot of people have read. Um, so yeah. What is my least favorite skill? Fishing. What kind of skill would I like to be made next? Um, well, I know invention is going to be the next skill to come out, and if I could choose any skill to come out next, it would be enchanting, kind of like in Skyrim where you could enchant weapons to have temporary enchantments that could like boost your damage or boost your XP or something like that. I think a skill like that would be awesome. Um, maybe invention will be like that. Uh, who knows? But I would love a skill like that to be in the game one day if invention isn't. If I could meet one RS player IRL, who would it be? Uh, well, I would say James from Rinshark, but I've already met him. Um, but other than that, I can't really think of anyone. When I started RS, did I ever think I would be as far as I came today? When I started RS, I had no idea what was going on. I was completely clueless. I didn't even know you could get 99 in a skill. Um, yeah, for a long time when I played RS, I was in kind of the newbie stage for quite a while. So... Um, no, I never ever even thought about a max cape until max capes came out actually so um, That's probably the first time when I decided I wanted one when they came out But um, before that I was just kind of playing the game and having fun and wasn't really thinking about reaching any goals at all What do I look like in IRL? Um, pretty much like that If I could have a 99 RS skill IRL, what would it be and why? I would say 99 agility because I feel like that would help out a lot when it comes to basketball why is your other channel called Giancarlo Espinosa and what kind of games are, do you plan on uploading to it? I named my other channel Giancarlo Espinosa. I've always been a big fan of Giancarlo Stanton who plays for Miami and the MLB. Uh, he's my second favorite MLB player behind King Felix, who's my favorite. And uh, I plan on uploading whatever kind of games sound fun, really. Um, just I plan on doing lots of Let's Plays on that channel eventually in the future. And uh, hopefully I'll find some games that are fun. Maybe some will come out that we don't know of yet that I'll play.